What's up, MTV? I'm Joey Fatone, and I am here at my house, and I'm gonna show you around. So come on inside, check it out. All right, this is my house. Over here, it's like my trophy office room, if you wanna kinda say that, I guess. I got marionette puppets. These are the actual original set. This is what we're gonna do. Hi, Justin. Yay, great crunch. Anyway, this is obviously one of the things that you guys like, is the Moon Men. It's kinda heavy for people that don't know it, but we, we, we got seven of them, so thanks, MTV. Our Diamond Awards, Diamond Awards for people that don't know, a Diamond Award is if you go over 10 million albums sold. So we've got three, so that's 30 million plus, so let's do the math. That's uh, Rent, when I was on Broadway with uh, Manly Pope and Carmine Alvarez. We did that, it was fun, a lot of fun, good times. Now I'm gonna show you Master Bedroom. This is the foyer. Step down, this is my master bedroom. This is where the magic does not happen all the time. It's not because we don't want to, it's just that we have a five-year-old daughter that comes in and goes, Mommy, Daddy, I want to do So she comes in bed with us, so there is no love time at all. It's tearing up my heart. Flat screen, kind of swivels, fireplace underneath. And when you're watching the TV, we can sit right here in this lovely big jacuzzi. This is, this is how I sit naked. I like this. And also, obviously without a big master bedroom, you need a big closet. So with the closet, I kind of wanted to kind of hide it a little bit. You can even see that it's an actual door, I mean, it has little shelves and stuff you can put inside it. But the secret is, and I'm gonna show you that nobody ever seen before is push it open. Woo, check it out. This is my side of the closet. This is my wife's side. This is another secret entrance door. That's where you come out to get in. Does that make sense? Yeah, something like that. And now we're gonna go upstairs. I always wanted a pool. I wanted a pool that stands for something. Always have a bunch of friends and family hanging out. Usually it's like Playboy Playmates, but not in this house. It's actually five-year-old kids. Come on. It's all family and friends. Come here, check this out. Shoot right over here, and you'll get them coming down the slide. My daughter's gonna come down now. My daughter's not as fast, but she likes it. She finally got the nerve. she goes, oh, well. <laughs> Good job, B. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and show you how it's done up there. Come on. I love throwing little kids off. All right, so that's upstairs and that's how you jump off. I'm gonna take you over to this way around the pool area. All right, so I'm a Benihana freak. Love hibachi, love that kind of stuff. It has the whole freaking the light up, the air, the stuff that goes on and all that stuff, so it's kind of cool. Got a flat screen here. We'll take you in the hallway. What's up, kids? This is my grotto. All the kids are hanging out here. Over here, I got a flat screen. Basically, you chill, you hang out, you have a drink or two, and everything else. After we get out of here, I'm gonna show you guys the garage. I'm not driving my Lexus. I am actually playing with these other toys in my garage. You have to check these out. Oh. Prowler K2 
Kick Car Viper 2 1955 Thunderbird Convertibles. This is my all time baby right here. Check out the front lights right now. You can see them lighting up a little bit. This is Kit. This is actually one of the Kit cars from the show Knight Rider. It's got all the mechanical things necessary for your Knight Rider endeavors. Navigational system. That's a rear view if you want to check that out. Keep your eye on that, in that camera right there. That's me right there. Hello! You can see the TV screens right there. That's a Night Industries Night Rider plate right there. So that's my kit car. This is a Dodge Viper. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in cribs have a uh, car display before. Can I have it like that? You got it like that. Anyone? 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 Okay, no, guess not. But now I'm going to show you a slightly different theater that many people may not have. The coolest thing about this is I always wanted to have a theater. And I didn't know exactly what kind of theater. I had one in my old house, but I figured it'd be a lot of fun, well, to have kind of a different one. I thought about having a drive-in movie. So that's what I got. So at night, I come out here underneath the stars to watch a film. And that is my house. What's up, I'm Omarion from B2K. Yo, yo, what's up, I'm Marcus Houston. What's up, I'm Jay Bug from B2K. And welcome to our crib. Uh, 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 the first thing that we have on the wall is Destiny Chow. Of course, got the fireplace. This is the piano. It's out of tune right now. <laughs> definitely a legend, you know, of music that we look at. And I mean, especially with the keys, I think we definitely thought that it matched. I didn't notice. Did you notice that? I didn't really notice it. But, you know, that's a real tall lamp. <laughs> <laughs> we got James Brown right here. Y'all already know about that. Wow, wow, wow. Now let's take y'all to the next room. This is where we come, you know, sometimes we just hang out and chill in here and talk and everything, you know. Moving right along, right along to my favorite part of the house, where you see more music legends. We don't really sit at this table much, but you know, when we do come to sit down and eat at this table, we know it's a serious situation. Yeah, yeah. Into the kitchen, area, you got the chrome effect and everything. You know, the stainless steel appliances, yeah, stainless, steel. stainless steel pots and the stainless steel, I don't know what you call this, I think it's a, a pot rack or something like that. We got our refrigerator. We like oranges, as you can see. Yeah, Drink right. a lot of water, because you know, water purifies the soul. Oh, speak on that. You like that? You like that? Oh, right, that's kind of deep. Land lady. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is the special table. We'll move this, and then we'll hook up, like, you know, some Japanese food or something like that. Hey, Book, why don't you go show me your room, man? Come on, y'all. It's not a question of whose room it is, because see, what we have here is the J-Book rug. You don't step on that rug, you don't touch that rug, you let that rug be where that rug is gonna be. I got the sound system. If you wanna bump with the bump, a bump, bump. My candles, cause I like candles. Sometimes, you know, I just come in here and I'll dim the lights and just light my candles and just think about, you know, what went on that day this way. Oh yeah. I love sports. I got my little baseball pillow. Cause you know, I still got kid in me. But what I really like is gadgets like this. Something you can't really find everywhere. It's a blessing to really, you know, sell a million records or sell any records. But, you know, to be able to have a plaque like this is really, really a, a blessing from God. Let's go back to the other fellas, though, and see what they doing. Cause they probably didn't fell asleep on the couch or something. Oh, y'all ain't sleep? I say, we what show them the amusement park we got in our backyard. Oh, definitely. Like they say on the roller coaster, if you are pregnant or you have heart conditions or yes. neck problems, do not, not witness this. Yeah, no. don't witness this. You ready? You, you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh 
Michael Cole. No, back who want to get in line for that? <laughs> Where are we going next? We're going upstairs. Let's going go upstairs. upstairs. Okay. Y'all can follow him into his room. You know, so, he's uh, Welcome to the house. This um, part of my room is actually my living room. You gotta have the DVD player, you know, got the, I don't know what this is. Well, this is the thing that control all the functions, you know, like tune in the TV. This is a picture that I actually got from a fan and uh, I plan on framing it because you know, it's a really nice picture. If you remember giving me this picture, thank you. Yeah. If you gonna have something in your bed, have some lambskin. Feel it. You feel it? Feel it, feel it. You feel it? Chilling in my bed. <laughs> nah, y'all gotta check out my brother's room. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Yeah, hey, you very good. <laughs> Welcome to my room. This is my special rug. You know, my nickname is Batman, so I have the Bat rug. I got my TV right here. I lay on the bed and watch TV and everything. To the bathroom. Every player must have a jacuzzi tub. If you don't have a jacuzzi tub, then you ain't a player. <laughs> nah. You know what happens in that room. <laughs> so now, I'm about to go show you our cars. The Who Rides. Boom, boom, let's go. This is my ride right here. The CL5, this is my first car. I haven't got, you know, all the stuff that I wanted to get hooked up. I ain't got my suede and all that, but see, I'm getting to that point. I got the range, you know, the 03 range. I don't got dugs. <laughs> you know, I got the alloys. It's all gravy, though. This is my SL500. 21-inch rims on there. You normally can't do that, but it's special. It's something special going on up in there. Convertible hard top, and it's going down like that. This is the family car right here. This where We want to get in the car and ride together and stuff and carpool yeah. and stuff, you know. These are our cars. And now it's time to say goodbye. So now we're coming into what I call the uh, Shea Lounge Room. This is the area where I, uh, like to uh, think of eventually laying back, possibly at night, maybe lounging, maybe turn the candles on, become a little romantic. And the fireplace is something I had to have strategically somewhere in the house where I thought I could get the most usage out of it. So this place here was perfect. So I had the shade to be able to look into the fireplace, and at the same time, if you look through, I have my bedroom over there. Uh, now to the Grandmaster Suite. This is the King Ding Bedroom Suite. And once again, we have the fireplace, which is beautiful, especially when laying down on the bed here. As long as I don't have my brother peeping through, I have to constantly make sure he doesn't look through here, a little peeping Tom. So this is my uh, nice king size bed, which I have a beautiful, beautiful view. This is breathtaking every day. Beautiful view of the ocean. It's just very beautiful, it's very peaceful. And I love coming out there at night, you know, and just chilling out. And now on to the Grandmaster bathroom here, which I am very proud of. This bathroom is where I spend a lot of my time, especially now dealing with this hair of mine, you know, which uh, has issues a lot. One of my favorite pieces here is this bathtub. This is, one of my favorite things is the uh, waterfall. When I was over in Europe, I was at a hotel in Germany, and uh, the bathtub had an actual TV right in front of it. I thought it was a great idea because I love spending time in the bathtub, but after a while, there's only so much you can do in the bathtub. So I decided to uh, get a TV. So let's uh, come out here. 
So here is my best spot of the house, my uh, balcony, where I come at peace with the ocean. And this beautiful view here, the ocean, and uh, just being at one with the water and uh, the sun. Welcome to our house, and good morning. We bid you adieu. We bid you adieu, yes. This is the old town house. It's where us and three other guys spend most of our days. Well, actually. Well, actually, none of our days, because we're actually never here, because we're always on the road. Come on in. We'll show you around. Now, I know I told you we were going to go inside our house, but technically, we are still outside. This is like our courtyard. This is where our pool is. Our pool. It's, uh, it's not the Master P Mansion pool or anything like that. This is uh, the But you know waiting. what? After a nice long two hours of basketball like yesterday, yeah. we come in here and uh, we swim for about an hour. We cool off, we relax. And when we have parties, which we've had about two or three this week, we have people uh, swimming around here, hanging out, chilling. Now into the living room, Eric, Ashley. They're here playing a little NBA 2K1. Kind of a sentimental story about this couch right here. For those of you that watched the first season of Making the Band, this couch right here is where all seven of us sat down when uh, we got picked to be in the final five. Once we moved out of that house, we had to bring the couch with us. Movies are like our thing. Like, Happy Gilmore. Are you too good for your home? Personally, my favorite film of all time, Dumb and Dumber. You can't, you can't love comedy unless you love this movie, right here. Awesome Powers. Yeah, baby! Next, we're gonna take you to the kitchen area, full of sauces, peppers, spices. Some say it's the most erotic place in the house. Wanna take a peek inside our fridge? It's pretty bare, actually, right now. We got the staples, the eggs, the milk. Cereal is the number one food in this house. It will, it has been since the beginning, and it always will be. Oh, yeah, raisin crisp, golden crisp, golden crisp. Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles. As you can see, our favorite food is cold cereal. You guys follow me to my room. As you can see, my room has like a certain theme. One thing that I never grew out of was being the biggest fan of Superman. So I got some pieces like this big metal S mounted up on the wall, and I thought that was really cool. And I got these different artistic painting drawings of the Superman symbol. This is the actual Superman S off Christopher Reeve's cape. I will keep this for the rest of my life. In my spare time, I like to write music. Um, I play guitar and I also play piano. This is my guitar. It was a gift, and I wouldn't accept it from my favorite teacher, Mr. Hoover. He gave this guitar to me, and I said, I can't accept this. So he made me buy it. I bought it for a dollar. So thanks for hanging out with me in my room. Now you're going to go check out some of the other guys' room. All right, here we are in my small but spacious room. Now, I'm kind of a sports nut. You know, I like basketball, it's my favorite sport, and I like golf. So when I was thinking about my room, I was like, you know, I kind of want this whole, like, old-style golf thing going on. My dad, when, he, when I was born, <clears throat> just bred me to be a Laker fan. I just got Laker gear at the Ying Yang. So growing up, you know, Magic Johnson was like my favorite player ever. And uh, we, were on, we were at Regis, and uh, I actually got to meet him. He was so cool, so down to earth, and uh, so awesome. All right, now it's time to show you my room. I'm in the guest house. You're gonna have to walk across the pool area here. When we moved in this house, you saw it on Making the Band that we drew straws to see who got the master bedroom. And I was the only one who didn't draw straws because I wanted to be away from everybody. Check out the wall. This is my little collection of guitars I've been keeping. I used to build these guitars before O-Town. We all designed our rooms. I wanted to make sure I had a mural of the ocean. All right, come on now. I'm going to show you my basketball court. Hey! <laughs> Who's winning? You want to come ball? You got game? You got game? Come play with us. Oh! 
What's up? This is AJ from Backstreet Boys. This is my second Cribs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my living room. I spend probably 85% of my time in this room. Purposely, I didn't put a TV in this living room because I want people that come over to be able to sit and talk, relax, and chill. I got this painting. It's an oil painting on oak wood. It's from 800 AD. Also, this is from 1800. This is a pictorial Bible. I've never seen a real Bible that's got pictures in it. And uh, I just love antiques. I love anything that's got that old, rustic, kind of gothic look to it. This is my bookshelf. This is kind of an homage to my family and friends. This is my chill spot. This is one of my three hookahs. For those of you that don't know what a hookah is, it's a pipe, and you smoke flavored tobacco. When I'm not kicking it in my living room, I just sit here, have a hookah, and look out at the ocean and just chill. Now we're gonna move on to the dining room. This is actually from the movie The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I went to an auction and uh, they wanted $30,000 for the whole thing. We got them down to 7,000. I think it's a steal. This is where I eat all the time. I lied. I've only eaten on this dining room table like twice. Now you're gonna go to the kitchen where I make the food to go eat on the dining room table that I told you I never eat on. This is my kitchen. I never used to be a coffee drinker until I moved to California. Now, I make espresso, and of course, it's only from coffee bean. Coffee bean rules. Starbucks, mm, it's okay. Coffee bean is the best. Now I'm gonna show you what I don't wanna show you, but I will. The fridge. Pizza from last night. Coke, 7-Up, water, more coffee bean. Martinelli's, that's what I drink. It's sparkling apple cider, really good stuff. My freezer. Ground beef that's probably old and frozen salad. Uh, you know, a, it's a single guy living in a house by himself. You can't expect it to be like gourmet food. So now we're gonna go downstairs and see some other freaky, crazy things I have that might frighten you. Now this is my favorite piece in my house. This is a 100-year-old confessional. It's fully working. It's got the screen doors. You can confess your sins. That was for you, Usher. And then I have this. This is a true, traditional samurai sword. Razor sharp, stainless steel. It could cut through anything. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, my bedroom. This is a hand-carved bed from Bali, which goes along well with my Buddha. No house is complete without a magic eight ball. Is this gonna be the best cribs I've ever done? Without a doubt. Nice. Always trust the eight ball. Now I'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom. This is where I wash and bathe myself. When I come home after a long day of work, the bath is the way to go. I put some oils in there and light some candles, turn all the lights off and just chill. And then this is the exit which goes to my view. This is my view. Every morning I get to wake up to the ocean. Now, I'm gonna take you guys out front, show you my rides. So, let's go. I told you guys I'd show you my toys. This is my mini bike. It's a mini chopper. It's got a Harley engine in it, and uh, 
This is my little fun toy. This is a 2004 Range Rover, black, with the black Da Vinci rims. This is the inside of my Trizzy truck. I went with the lighter interior because, you know, California sun, it gets hot. This is my toy, this is my baby. This is what I drive around California IA with. That's my crib. So uh, I'll see you guys for a third time. Be cool.